This sucks. So I'm making a part two of this video for the fact that I really don't think I'm going to have the time to copy it from my phone, edit it, and upload it. So this is two videos, so I'm sorry if it's annoying, but oh well. What can you do, right? Um, so it's been really nice to have some time alone and just being in alone for a couple hours with Dragon, he's so much more calm because he doesn't have so many distractions in the house. I'm sorry, this lighting is terrible, but uh, it's probably better that you see me in the dark anyway. <laughs> sorry, because I look terrible. But, um, yeah, just he is less distracted and he was able to settle down right away for a nap and... The cat was freaking out like someone was there. It was really weird. Don't freak me out, cat. <laughs> I was able to get my nails done. I don't know if you can tell. They're, they're purple. I really wanted to get that done because my nails are so bad. They had really bad chipped polish on and I wanted to get that done before tomorrow. I have no idea what I'm going to wear tomorrow. Like, I want to dress up a little bit to go to the movies, but I'm trying to decide. Because I actually got a pair of really nice dress shoes. What are you looking at? See the cat? She's freaking out. Abby. She just kept looking like someone was coming around the corner. Anyway, so. I got the nice dress shoes. And they're comfortable, but... I'm a little scared to wear them right now because I'm having some kind of ankle issue with my left ankle and I have no idea what happened or why but it's just been hurting really bad. It's a lot better than it was but I still feel like twinges of pain and I'm trying to like keep a bandage or ankle support on it. I just... I really wish I had some boots, but I have not been able to find a pair of boots that fit me or afford to buy a pair of boots lately. Um, but I'll deal with the dress shoes. I just, like I said, I'm not sure. We'll see. I don't know. I kind of want to vlog tomorrow when we're out, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, I just hope that we don't have to rush back home. Because it's really difficult sometimes when my mom and my sister babysit. Because sometimes they can't stay with him that long. And I don't know. I don't know. I just want tomorrow to be a good day. So I could show you guys what I got for Christmas. But I'm trying to figure out where it is. So, um, the one I got three things for Christmas. And they're really awesome, all from my husband. And so I get this ring. It's a skull mood ring. And it's really pretty. The only thing that's lame about it is the fact that it flips open all the time. And so we were both kind of disappointed in that, but I tried to glue it shut. And then, like, you can still see the mood color underneath but I used hot glue and that didn't stick so I might do super glue but other than that it's really cool he got it for me a hot topic and I really appreciate him thinking of me and knowing exactly the types of things I like because he's awesome like that so then um I got this me and my husband are really into playing games board games, card games, um, so I got the King of Tokyo expansion pack, which I have been eyeing for the longest time. My husband works at a game store, so I saw this at his store, and then I kept basically, I was like, I want this for Christmas. <laughs> it's a Halloween expansion pack. So the monsters get to wear different costumes and stuff, and it has orange dice. That's just so cool. And two new characters. There's a boogeyman. There's he looks like and he has like a top hat on, which is really cool. And there's that. 
and maybe I'll do a review of this. I'm thinking that would be a good video to do because people might want to be like, well, what's in the box? And if, you know, do I really want to buy it or not? So, um, I really enjoyed it. We've played with this one once so far and it has what's called evolution cards and they're really cool. And if you ever have played King of if you've never played King of Toki, it's a really fun game. And it's really easy to learn and you could probably play it with kids too. Um, I've played it with kids who are like 10 years old and they picked it up pretty good for much. So it's a really fun game. It's just so cool. The art is awesome, too. And then he also, okay, this is the funny thing. He had friends hiding a gift for him, and they brought it over on Christmas Eve. And um, it was, like, this huge box. And I was like, oh, my goodness, what's in this box? And I was thinking about it all night <laughs> on Christmas Eve. What could be in that box? And then the next day, it was the last thing I opened I was expecting something big in there, but there was like a box within a box within a box within a box. And so it was really funny. It was really fun the way you go get it. And then it was this little tiny box in there. And it was the other king of Tokyo, which I didn't really see until like the last minute um, at his store. And it's a power-up pack, so it's got a lot of evolution cards. And I think it has the panda. I can't remember now. Let me open it and see. I think so. Yes, it does. It does have a pan that you, that you can play with. His name is Pandakai. And so, yeah, it's got a bunch of evolution cards, which I have yet to play this one yet. So you can mix everything together and play the game with Halloween and all that, but I kind of like to keep things separately for now, just in case. Especially if I play with a new person who's never played before, and I don't want things to be too complicated for them if they have extra things to learn. But yeah, I was so happy to have these. These are so awesome. I love them. Um, yeah, and I might just do a video on these later. And then the game that I have been wanting for a while now, um, since the summer, when we played it at a friend's house, I was so excited to get this, and you were such a rat because he kept telling me that things were sold out at his store, um, and they didn't have it anymore, which it didn't matter to me because I could always get it somewhere else, but, um, he got it for me, and I'm so excited, Splendor! This is such a fun game and easy to learn, and I'm probably tipping it and wrecking everything inside, but it's just a beautiful game. It has great art. It's easy, like I said. Um, I just really like it so much. It's a game, for a quick, quick description I'll give you, it's a game where you have, um, gosh, I'm going to describe it in a really terrible way, but you have these jewels. They're like coins, kind of, but they have jewels on them, like sapphire, diamond, um, ruby, emerald. You will cause it like onyx, but I'm not sure if that's what it is. It's, to me, it's more brown, so I call it like a chocolate diamond or something. I don't know. It might be onyx, but, and then gold. And then there's all these cards that you can purchase, and you have to collect the, co the coins, the gems, and this is how much they cost. And then you collect the cards, and the more cards you have, you can use them toward credit for like buying stuff. If you have like um, three of these, you only have to pay whatever is left. Anyway, it's hard to explain right now, but and then some of the cards have points. And you end up um, playing the 15, whoever gets the most. But it's really fun. And I'm not doing it justice describing it, but I really enjoy it. I'm really very happy to own it. Played it several times. My sister isn't a big gamer as far as 
board games go other than classic and she enjoyed it and she got it right away and won the first time so it's really fun so those are the things I got for Christmas so yeah that's about it what I was going to talk about so this is a short boring little video but just felt like making one since I had the time alone and I'm really out of practice making videos so hopefully they'll get better soon so bye there bye bye for now I was already say later and bye so later <laughs> later <laughs>